Okay, so I've recorded a bit of a commentary over this um, slideshow just to help you with understanding what to do with your home study. And when you've looked at the slide for long enough and listened to what I have to say, then just click and it should go on to the next slide and automatically start the commentary. Right, so you've got a really nice home study. Uh, you're doing a page of research, okay, into one of the organisms listed in the green box, or you can do an organism of your choice, but it mustn't be a domesticated organism. It mustn't be your pet dog or something like that. It must be something that lives in the wild. Okay, so you need to include information about features and characteristics and also behaviour, if that's relevant. Um, the organism's habitat and what sort of home it lives in. Well, what it eats, uh, interdependence with other organisms, adaptations to its environment and any other fascinating facts. So, the habitat, is it cold, is it hot, is it wet, weather how it looks and maybe what sort of home it lives in. Does it live in a nest, a cave? Where does it live? Uh, what it eats. Interdependence with other organisms. So does it provide shelter for another organism? Maybe it's food for another organism or it eats other organisms. So you need to work out how it kind of links in with other organisms in the surrounding environment. Adaptations to its environment. What makes it good at surviving where it lives okay there are things about it that probably helps it to survive and any other fascinating facts there are lots of fascinating facts out there about different creatures so have a look at the list of um, organisms in the green box but you can choose one of your own if there's something that you're interested in now success criteria um, you must make sure that you put the information that has been asked for on the last slide in your home study, okay? Uh, you can either cut the pictures out, stick them down in your book and then write information by hand or do the home study on a computer and print it out in colour and stick it into your book. Um, do not copy and paste, that is a complete waste of your time. You won't learn anything by copying and pasting. You have to use your own words. I will know if you've copied and pasted and I will make you do the home study again. It is not good use of your time. You won't learn very much. Now you can lay this home study out as you wish on the page. You might have pictures with gaps in and information. You might lay it out a bit like a visual mind map with the name of the organism in the middle and then different facts and pictures fanning out from that. Be imaginative about how you lay it out. Do include pictures, so quite a lot of pictures. Um, the most important thing uh, with your home study is that you try your best. I want you to get to the end of your home study, look at it and think, did I do my best? Is that my best work? You should do that with everything that you do in school. That's really important.